In the following few lessons, we'll be talking about composition. In this particular one, we'll be talking about balance. I'll be taking you through what it is, followed by a little demonstration and then exercise for you to get a better understanding of what balance is. So before we talk about balance, let me give you a quick explanation of what composition means. Composition refers to the way that elements in a drawing or painting are arranged in relation to one another. The few principles of composition that we'll be covering today will be balance, contrast and unity. So what is balance? Balance refers to the way that elements are arranged on a page. The balanced composition can feel stable and harmonious, while an imbalanced composition can feel dynamic and tension filled. There are two main types of balance. You've got symmetrical and then asymmetrical. As the name suggests, symmetrical means both sides are identical. And then you've got asymmetrical, where both sides are completely different, but the overall drawing or painting feel balanced. Okay, now for a quick demonstration. I'm gonna be taking you through some of the pieces that I've created in the past and show you how I've balanced out these images. So right now what I'm going to show you is two types of balance that you get. You get symmetrical and then you get asymmetrical. So let me show you an example of what symmetrical refers to and then I'll show you an example of what asymmetrical refers to. So for this I'm going to be using squares which I cut out um, from the initial warm up that we did. So I've just got two squares. So what we're going to do is going to imagine that there's an imaginary line going right down the middle which is the line of symmetry. And say we've got two shapes. So right now, this, so this is what a symmetrical, a, a symmetrically balanced composition looks like. So we've got both sides, which are mirroring each other. Um, even if we do this, the line of symmetry is still, is now moved here. Uh, and then say, for example, if we do this, the line of symmetry is now here. Oops, sorry. So this is what is referred to a balanced composition. So this is used, so say for example, you got a, a character, an object, like right in the middle of your frame. This is what it looks like. Let me show an example of an asymmetrical balance. So this is, this is when both sides are still weighted the same. So here, for example, this is still a balanced composition, but it's just asymmetrically balanced. So as you can see, so the way I like to do it is the volume on one side should match the volume on the other, regardless of what it is. Um, so say this was moved here. So it's still an asymmetrical way of balancing this composition or this frame. Um, but I thought this would be a nice simple way of showing you what is meant, what is meant by this. So like even this, for example, this is, this still feels balanced to me. Okay, so now for the exercise, what I want you to do is the shapes that we created in the first lesson where we were drawing squares, circles, triangles, I want you to cut them out and then we're going to be using them within a square that you draw in order to make it feel balanced. I'll be doing the same, so I'll show you how we can go about this. So what I want you to do for this exercise is grab yourself some shapes, um, some of the shapes that we used in the first one. Get yourself some cut out. So get some of the shapes that you cut out at the beginning. And so I've got some triangles over here. Um, so say, get yourself, get yourself four triangles and I just want you to have a little play around and try to make it feel balanced. So say this, for example, putting it into one corner doesn't feel balanced because there's a lot of space and everything seems very heavily weighted. Where, for example, say if you just, if you play around with it a little bit. So that to me feels very balanced. It doesn't feel too chaotic. There's not many things that are all together in one, one side. But this, for example, this is a asymmetrical way of balancing. So I want you to go ahead and I want you to just play around with these shapes. Cut yourself a little frame in a piece of paper. And then with these shapes, I just want you to have a little play around. So we can do a symmetrical one, just like this. Or we can turn them sideways and like this. This is a good way of doing it, I feel, because you don't have to commit to drawing to a shape. Uh, but this is something to keep in mind. One important thing is the visual weight of your frame, you want it to feel balanced. So right now, the visual weight is much more on the left compared to the right. Whereas if we swap this for another similar size square, now both sides are equally weighted. Whether it's, because like say, if you do this, then you will need two more shapes on the other side to make it feel, feel balanced. And it's not always down the side, it's not always down the middle, it's just, how it, how it feels to you. It's more of a, more of a feeling as opposed to a, um, like any rules. So go on, have some, have some fun with this, play around with different compositions. And like I said, if you do need help, do take a picture and place it down below in the uh, project panel where I can give you some feedback.
Okay, so this is balance. It is a very simple overview of what this is. In this lesson, I took you through what it is and how it can be used, followed by a quick demonstration and then an exercise which you completed. Like in the previous lessons, if you do want feedback on this, do upload it down below in the projects panel and I'll give you feedback as you are going through this lesson. Also, if you do feel like you have any questions or anything that you want to bring up, do put it down below in the discussions panel where we can talk and exchange ideas or other students can contribute to. Okay, so in the next lesson, we'll be moving on to contrast. See you there.